welcome to a new episode of Bogan's Guide to Wine. I'm Sampy. Lurchy. Today, guys, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing an Italian wine. We're going to be trying a Moscato di Asti from the Sensi Wine Collection. This is um, Moscato, isn't that a girly wine? <sighs> From what I understand it is, mate, I've had a couple of uh, Moscatos before, particularly we had one in South Africa with uh, uh, Brian and Jackie. And, uh, the, the bottle wine. shape doesn't look like a girly wine. I always thought Moscatos were pink, but that's definitely not pink. That's, uh, that's got a bit of fizz in it, too. Definitely got a bit of fizz. Hopefully it's, uh, the fizz is meant to be there and not just some sort of <laughs> dodgy post-bottle ferment thing coming yeah, right, yeah. back over. But we should Hallucinogenic or something, man. That's it, that's no, it. No, no. It looks all right because the, the colour of it's really clear. Well, let's uh, see what research I can dig up on Sensei and we'll do a little, uh, have a look at it now. Sensei Vini is a fifth generation Tuscan winery. Since 1980, the family's philosophy has been to produce wines of quality and consistency and a heavily focus on building relationships right across the globe. Sensi is the number one Chianti seller in Italy by volume and make wines that both respect and represent the traditional Tuscan winemaking style, yet are still young and innovative. De Sensi elegance is a lifestyle and they wish to show the typical Tuscan culture of beauty and bottle it. The Moscato di Asti is the true representation of Moscato and is how Italians wanted Moscato to taste a low alcohol after dinner drink. Moscato also started in Asti and has a DOCG appellation which means only limited yields are allowed to be bottled each year. So there you go Lurchy, uh, that's Sensei Wines for you. So okay. uh, let's have a little bit of a look. As I was saying earlier, I thought these things were meant to be pink but uh, there's obviously no, no time on the uh, skins with this one. No. Alright, there we go. Obviously see the little fine bubbles in it. But it's not a champagne, it's not a champagne shaped bottle, so and my bubbles are pretty much will disappear too. Yeah. It's um it's a sort of a I wouldn't say it's, it's not cloudy, it's the bubbles I think that are messing with the uh well, have, have you noticed that? Have you noticed that? What's that mate? You get that around the side, that just disappears. It disappears. So what's that telling you, mate? Well I don't know if it's the bubbles, but it just seems that it's not clinging to the glass, so it hasn't got much alcohol in it. There you go, that's a little uh, surprise I've got for you. So, uh, how much? Uh... It doesn't sound like a good surprise. <laughs> so, if you look basing that on the alcohol content, what do you reckon's in there? Oh, I'd say probably 10 or something like that. This is the lowest alcohol content we've uh, tried yet. So, oh, don't hold that on. against it. No, no, no. This is only 5% alcohol. 5%? So, it's yeah. like a beer. It's like a beer. You skull the whole thing. Yeah, it's oh, like having a beer. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't know how you skull though. It might be a little bit uh, fruity too. Let's have a, let's have right. a smell. It smells like a Moscato that I've had in the past. Yep. It's um, very perfumey, isn't it? Yeah, aromatic. Um, it smells like um, pear. I get a lot. Of, I get pear flavours out of that. Like pear ripe peaches. Pears. Pear peaches. Maybe a little bit of Granny Smith apple at the uh, yeah, yeah, end there, maybe on the end there. So it's, it's, it's it smells nice. And, uh, I'm not too sure about the overly sweet one. So yeah, it's a very fresh one. Sweet as you like it. That's not too bad at all, actually. Mm. It's um, the, the bubbles have completely disappeared off the mine altogether. How about you guys? All gone? Yeah, no, it's all gone. So I've got, I've got no uh, bubble reaction to the tongue, so I can actually. That's my biggest problem with uh, trying champagne. I find it really hard to get past the. Uh, the really the dry bubbles. finish, yeah. Well, not the thin finish. I can't taste it for the bubbles. Oh right, yeah. You know I mean, the bubbles just react in the tongue, and I find it really hard to actually get any uh, characteristics at all. So, you know, the bubbles have disappeared on this. So I can. Uh, Definitely tasted a lot better. Mm. You can taste that. You can taste what it tastes. What it smells like, isn't it? It's uh, very it's fresh. It's it's sweet. It's it's like lolly water. It is lolly water, and I think the, the five percent alcohol pretty much all throws it in that uh, lolly water sort of uh, category, doesn't it? So, so does, that, does that make it okay for 14 year olds to drink it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If they're going to try something... Lurch like, bag. If they're going to try something, this is probably a good one for them to try, I guess. Yeah. Um, look, not my cup of tea. It's, it's it's nice. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just I wouldn't go out chugging a bottle of Moscato. My wife would love it. She loves that sort of stuff. I know Brian. Brian, uh, he does Bogan's Guide to Beer with us. He, I know he's a big fan yeah, of... Yeah, you know, he's my wife. <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, he's a uh, he's, he's a big fan of Moscato. I'm sure he would be uh, saying this is 
if you've seen this from the uh, rooftops, basically, I reckon, I reckon you can find this really, really nice. But uh, it is what it is. It's simple. Yep. It's approachable. It's no, pleasant. You could have this in the morning. Yeah, you know, that sort of. Yeah, I'm, yeah uh, I was trying to think of around around Nana's place. You could picture Nana pulling this out. Christmas saying, morning. Christmas morning. This yeah. Is, Exactly. This is a Christmas. It tastes like Christmas. It does. Yeah. It does it. Christmas. Right. It's all wrapped up. We've got so, a new genre. It's a Christmas it's morning. A Christmas wine. morning wine. So uh, you know, I think uh, it's not that expensive. Let me check my notes. Yeah, here. It is. I'm trying to think of something to compare it to, but it's really in its own little place, isn't it? So it's, and it's the first Moscato that we've tried. It's um, I, the one time I have tried this one in South Africa before from Stellenbosch Hills, which was uh, particularly nice. That was on, that obviously had a bit of time on the uh, skins to give it a bit of a pink yep. colour, and a bit more uh, punch to it. But then once again, this is Italian, so they've got a completely different approach to yeah. us and South Africa. Well, they're so very food-based with their wine, so. Yep. Um, yeah. But I would still rate that pretty highly. I'll have to lower it, obviously, for the alcohol percentage. But um, I'll give that a, a 7.5. Yeah, I'm spot on there. It's, 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 it's lovely, it's just not the kind of thing I would run out and drink myself quite regularly, but it's... Uh, it's just not our cultural way to drink probably wine that low in alcohol. It's ours to have a bit of a year. And, let's see, I, I don't like the sweet side of things that much. Yeah, so. Right. yeah, anyway, so there you go. If you've gleaned anything from that episode at all, it's... Uh, <laughs> I'll it's, have another one, though. Yeah, I'll have another go. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, thanks for calling in. Try Senso wines, track them down. They're not too far, too, not too hard to get. They're an international base. Remember, company. Christmas morning. Yeah, it's Christmas is coming up, not too far away at all. Really. Or if you're that way inclined, any morning. Any morning. <laughs> so, on that note, we'll catch you next time. This has been Bogan Sky to Wine. Adios. See you. Hey okay, guys, how are you? My name is Scott Wilson. I'm from Sensi Wines. Sensi, the number one counter seller in the world. And we're with uh, Bogan Guides Guide to Wine. <laughs> Check it out. Bogan Guides to Wine. Had me a bit shocked because I like it. I like it. Mm. But I don't want to say I like it because it's, it's only 5%.